Sumac, also spelled sumac, samak, Assyrian Neo-Aramaic, sumaka translate. Sumac, lit. Red, red shift, turning red, Arabic, samak translate. Sumac, Hebrew, wag translate. Og, is any one of about 35 species of flowering plants in the genus Rhus and related genera, in the family Anacardiaceae. The dried and powdered fruits of Rhus coriaria are used as a spice in Middle Eastern cuisine. Sumac grows in subtropical and temperate regions throughout the world, especially in East Asia, Africa, and North America. Description Sumacs are shrubs and small trees that can reach a height of 1 to 10 meters 3.3 to 32.8 feet. The leaves are spirally arranged, they are usually pinnately compound, though some species have trifoliate or simple leaves. The flowers are in dense panicles or spikes 5 to 30 centimeters 2.0 to 11.8 in long, each flower very small, greenish, creamy white or red, with five petals. The fruits form dense clusters of reddish droops called sumac bobs. The dried droops of some species are ground to produce a tangy, crimson spice, this shrub or low tree, belonging to the family Anacardiidae, which includes the terebinth and the pistachio, grows wild in the groves of Israel. The tree is dioecious, with pinnate leaves containing a high proportion of tannin which is used in the manufacture of leather, whence its Hebrew name Og Habersakaim, tanner's sumac. The female trees bear reddish fruits in Arabic sumac means red arranged in dense clusters. The fruits are shaped like lentils, and are hairy with an acrid taste. It is used as a spice by some Asian communities, and was used in the colonial United States giving rise to the tradition of pink lemonade, and in present-day North America. Its fruits RHU's typhina, staghorn sumac, soaked in cold water, make a refreshing, vitamin C-rich beverage. It was cultivated in Mishnaic times and is therefore reckoned with those fruits to which the law of Paya applied Paya 1 to 5, but in Judea, where it grew wild abundantly, it was not very highly valued and a lenient attitude was adopted about Paya Dem, 1 to 1. Sumacs propagate both by seed spread by birds and other animals through their droppings, and by new shoots from rhizomes, forming large clonal colonies. Taxonomy The taxonomy of RHUs has a long history, with de Candal proposing a subgeneric classification in 1825, with five sections. At its largest circumscription, RHUs, with over 250 species, has been the largest genus in the family Anacardiaceae. Other authors used subgenera and placed some species in separate genera, hence the use of RHU's sensu lato and RHU's sensu stricto s. S. One classification uses two subgenera, RHU's about 10 spp, and lobadium about 25 spp, while at the same time cotinus, ducara, malosma, metopium, searsia and toxicodendron segregated to create RHU's s. s. Other genera that have been segregated include actinoseta and baronia. As defined, RHU's S. S. appears monophyletic by molecular phylogeny research. However the subgenera do not appear to be monophyletic. The larger subgenus, Lobadium, has been divided further into sections, Lobadium, Terebinthifolia, and Stiphonia two subsections. <laughs> Selected species, by continent Topic. Etymology The word sumac traces its etymology from Old French sumac 13th century, from medieval Latin sumac, from Arabic sumac, smack from Syriac sumac smuk meaning red. Topic. Cultivation and uses Species including the fragrant sumac R. aromatica, the little leaf sumac R. microphylla, the skunkbush sumac R. trilobata, the smooth sumac, and the staghorn sumac are grown for ornament, either as the wild types or as cultivars. Topic: <laughs> Spice and beverage flavoring. 
The fruits droops of Rhu's coriaria are ground into a reddish purple powder used as a spice in Middle Eastern cuisine to add a tart, lemony taste to salads or meat. In Arab cuisine, it is used as a garnish on mies dishes such as hummus and tashi, and is added to salads in the Levant, as well as being one of the main ingredients in Palestine's national dish, moussakan. In Afghan, Armenian, Bangladeshi, Indian, Iranian, Jewish, Israeli Israeli cuisine, Kurdish and Pakistani cuisines, sumac is added to rice or kebab. In Azerbaijani, Central Asian, Jordanian and Turkish cuisines, it is added to salads, kebab and lamajun. Rhu's coriaria is used in the spice mixture zada. In North America, the smooth sumac R, glabra and the staghorn sumac R, typhina are sometimes used to make a beverage termed sumac aid. Indian lemonade, or Rhus juice. This drink is made by soaking the droops in cool water, rubbing them to extract the essence, straining the liquid through a cotton cloth, and sweetening it. Native Americans also use the leaves and droops of the smooth and staghorn sumacs combined with tobacco in traditional smoking mixtures. <laughs> Dye and tanning agent The leaves of certain sumacs yield tannin mostly pyrogalol type, a substance used in vegetable tanning. Notable sources include the leaves of R. coriaria, Chinese gall on R. chinensis, and wood and roots of R. pentaphyla. Leather tanned with sumac is flexible, light in weight, and light in color. One type of leather made with sumac tannins is Morocco leather, the dyeing property of sumac needed to be considered when it was shipped as a fine flory substance in sacks as a light cargo accompanying heavy cargoes such as marble. Sumac was especially dangerous to marble. When sumac dust settles on white marble, the result is not immediately apparent, but if it once becomes wet, or even damp, it becomes a powerful purple dye, which penetrates the marble to an extraordinary depth. Medicinal use Sumac was used as a treatment for several different ailments in medieval medicine, primarily in Middle Eastern and South Asian countries where sumac was more readily available than in Europe. An 11th-century shipwreck off the coast of Rhodes, excavated by archaeologists in the 1970s, contained commercial quantities of sumac droops. These could have been intended for use as medicine, as a culinary spice, or as a dye. Staghorn sumac is a powerful antioxidant, with auric rating over 1,500 mu mole te per gram. Also, the antihypertension effect of sumac has been investigated and a clinical trial study showed significant effects of R. Coriaria on decrease the blood pressure in hypertensive patients. Other uses Some beekeepers use dried sumac bobs as a source of fuel for their smokers. Sumac stems also have a soft pith in the center that is easily removed to make them useful in traditional Native American pipe making. They were commonly used as pipe stems in the northern United States. Dried sumac wood fluoresces under long wave ultraviolet radiation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Toxicity and control. Some species formerly recognized in RHUs, such as poison ivy toxicodendron radicans, sin. RHUs toxicodendron, poison oak toxicodendron diversilobum, sin. RHUs diversiloba, and poison sumac toxicodendron vernix, sin. RHUs vernix, produce the allergen urushiol and can cause severe allergic reactions. Poison sumac may be identified by its white droops, which are quite different from the red droops of true RHU species. Mowing of sumac is not a good control measure, since the wood is springy, resulting in jagged, sharp-pointed stumps when mown. The plant will quickly recover with new growth after mowing. Goats have long been considered an efficient and quick removal method, as they eat the bark, which helps prevent new shoots. Sumac propagates by rhizome. Small shoots will be found growing near a more mature sumac tree via a shallow running root quite some distance from the primary tree. Thus, root pruning is a means of control without eliminating the species altogether. <laughs> 